Hi everyone, ready to get back on Mars? Let's go. So what was happening? The shuttle was about to move, wasn't it? So it's going to be going from the colony back into orbit. Lacerda is going to go with it. And so skips both of those steps. And let's pick a space for him to go on. That is, I believe, a one, the Q. Oh no, it's nothing. Let's roll it. There we go. Now it's a one. Told you. So he gets no benefit, actually. Really concerned about uh, making sure he's first. Uh, I, I'm not going to go with it. I've got some building and stuff to do, I think. If I did go with it, I would generate a mineral and a battery. And I would get that colonist back. But I think we can wait. I, I've, got, I've got plenty of resources and things. I would like more blueprints. So do I go with it now that it's going quickly? And so that I can get back? No, no. Lacerda's going to be building stuff. I want to build stuff before Lacerda gets back here. So, yeah. He can go there and he's going to do an action, isn't he? What is he going to do? He's going to do an action number two. So number two for him is gain more tech. So he just gains the cheapest thing and it goes out in the leftmost space, which gets him a crystal. One of his crystals should be up there. Also, when you benefit the LSS, you get to choose one of these rewards. Move your bot two spaces, get a crystal, get a mineral, or retrieve one of your colonists. Now, if Lacerda had a colonist in the science section, he would always choose to retrieve it. Other than that, he chooses to gain a crystal. So I'm going to do some construction. Now, that does cost me a person all the way up here. Stretch. I can't boost it by doing it any more times. This is the first time I'm doing construction by uh, not doing the shortcut way. So I'm going to build a, uh, a greenhouse. So to do this, let's go through the steps. Always go through the steps. Choose a building. That one. Pay the cost. The cost is the one before it. The cost is a water. Luckily, I have one. And I didn't uh, get two ships, although that was tempting. So I grab those. I grab the tile itself. Where am I going to put the tile? It's going to... It has to be in the bot's thing. And I... Oh, actually... I can't make... A... I can't make a complex because nobody has taken that tech tile and I can't, maybe I should have gone back and gotten the tech tile, but we just need to build it out there. So I can place it one space away, which would be here. It would displace my rover, I believe. Yeah, so when something's displaced, you can choose where it's going to go. So when does the displacement happen? Does it happen before or after the crystals get placed down? I think it would be it would be after, I think. So we can have crystals all around this, which is really good. And then whenever it gets displaced, it has to go to an empty space, by the way. I can't cheekily grab some stuff from it. Where would I like my rover to go there? I could make it go there, but I have to end my space there. So I, I think I have to end my movement to gain that. So I would like to move through at least one crystal to, to get that. So that's where I'm going to go. Okay, rest of the steps. Put crystal down. Gain resources equal to the new size. So I get myself one plant because that's the size. So I've got two of those again now. And then place progress cubes. I didn't make a new complex. It's just on its own. So I don't get to place a progress cube. Adjust the LSS. I do get my two opportunity points though. And I get points equal to the highest level of tech. So I get three points because I have this on level three. So that's two for there, three for the LSS tile, so that puts me on five, so I'm one ahead. Almost had that on camera, didn't I? The <laughs> lean forward's never fun. Uh, so there we go, did that, did that. Uh, if you constructed a mine, I didn't construct a mine. I can't, I can do, I can do an executive action, can't I? I can move my scientist over here and make this free for whenever I want to do it. Now, if I do this, I'm probably going to have to move back. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. We can do this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to construct a battery building. 
Oh, I get, I get a benefit from here, don't I? So I could get a person back. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I, I will take my benefit. Oh, I need to do something out here later. I'll take my benefit as bringing a worker back. So I'm going to bring him straight back from the construction action. In case I wanted to do that again. I don't know that I will do that. But, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to construct a battery factory. So to do that, I'm going to be placing it here and making a bigger complex. Which I don't need to actually boost the level. It's already at level 2. So brilliant. This, this works out really well. So the cost is a mineral. I do have a mineral. So spend that. I... I'm placing it over here so that at least one crystal will go down. I could place it right next to the bot here. But no, let's, let's spread it out a little bit like that. So, yeah, that goes out and we'll put a crystal over there. There we go. So, choose the building, pay the cost, done, place the building, yep, yep, yep. If tile has arrows, yep. Gain resources equal to the new size. Ah, this is, this is another thing where <laughs> you end up wasting some stuff, though. If I had a contract for a load of batteries, I would gain three batteries right now. But I can only gain one because I haven't built any of these. I should be building these. So do we then wait? Wait to do this executive action until next turn when I could build... Oh, yeah. Okay, take backs. I do apologize, everybody. But yes, I've had a better idea. Because Lacerda next is going to build a blue and not a white, so he's not going to get in my way with this. Yeah, I think this is going to work out okay. I haven't done anything... Untake backable, have I? No. Unless Lacerda goes in front of... No, he's, he's still not going to do it. He might get a load of points from the LSS, though, which is the downside. I'm going for it. Okay, end of it. The shuttle moves around. And Lacerda does come with it. So he places this three spaces away from him, furthest away from me. And that refills. And so then he chooses a space. Don't choose number one. Get a benefit. Let's see. Let's, let's make sure it rolls to a one, two, or three, shall we? It's going to be 30 rolls later. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Three. So he wanted a blueprint card. These restock, by the way, when the LSS level changes. So he takes the leftmost one. Blueprint card is taken, so that mission progresses. And he puts one of his... This is going to have to go off the screen. I do apologize, everybody. But he's, not, he's just not upgrading his things. So gets a blueprint. When he comes back, he builds something, doesn't he? So he's building a blue. It, uh, it can go anywhere. Go somewhere that's not... Yeah, I'll put it out this side so it's less beneficial to me, I think. I think that's what he would do. Or he could just uh, start putting it out like that, miles away. So, uh, pay the cost, nope. Make a thing so he can put his blue cube out for progress. Uh, actually, no, no, nobody's got the tech, have they? So, no, he can't actually do that. So he has to put it one away. So he'll put it over there. Okay, he hasn't made a thing, can't do the cubes. Did it have arrows on it? Yes, so it will put down a load of crystals. And what am I looking on that side for? Crystals, gain resources. He doesn't care about resources. Place progress cube? No. He does get to adjust this, though. And so he gets two points for that, and then two points for every building he's upgraded. He hasn't done any, so he doesn't get anything for that. So he just, uh, just gets two points. So he's on six to my four now. And he didn't make a mine, so we don't do that. So I could swoop in here if I get the tactile at some point and make a great big blue thing. Okay then, so I'm taking a construction action because I took my worker off so that I wouldn't have to pay any extra crystals or workers or anything. So I'm going up there first. Is that what I want to do? Oh no, yeah, first up, first up, we're going to move the rover. Yeah, I haven't got crystals to spend for more spaces, unfortunately. We're going to move the rover. It's three spaces that it's allowed. One, two, three. And it's going to collect these crystals for me. The bot would destroy the crystals. Sure, I'm not using the bot to do that. Do I want to move the bot to a better position now? I think it's still okay there for what I want to do. Next turn, I'm going to build 
a place there and a place there. But I've, I've spent a whole turn there just gaining two crystals. I don't think that's worth it. No, it's not worth it. We are, we're constructing. We're just getting rid of that crystal. So yeah, a worker needs to go out. I'm constructing. So you go over there. And I am constructing. You have to do the lowest shelter. Look at that. Spaces for more colonists. So it's going to cost me oxygen to do this. I'm placing it here so we lose that crystal. And I am kind of fencing myself in a bit here, aren't I? It'll be okay. Yeah, we'll do that. I can do that because of my tech tile. It'll let me make a complex of my own things. I gained two crystals for doing that. So there we go. We've gained the two crystals by building this thing. Gain the two crystals. Uh, your, your things never have uh, arrows on them to put crystals down. Gain resources, done there. Place progress cube, no, we don't have progress cubes for those. But now I can do my executive action and build my battery building. Costs a mineral to do. I'm placing it out here. So that just puts one more crystal out onto the map there. And... Seem to have broken down. Where's the rest of the steps? Put the crystals out. Gain the resources according to the new size. I gained three of these. Yeah, I still didn't spend any, did I? So I just gained the one. I can put my progress marker out. Whoops. Because I've made a complex of the battery buildings. This goes up, but the colony didn't need more power right now. So I don't get the benefits. What it wants is what the third is probably going to do. It wants, uh, yeah, it wants some oxygen production, which, you know, I could do soon. If Lacerda doesn't do it, I could, you know, do an executive action to move my bot around and uh, I would be able to make a complex by using his tile and I have oxygen to do that with. It just depends if he's going to do that or not. It would be nice if he didn't. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be nice if I did everything. Okay, so I think that is it. I've done my executive action there. I didn't need to boost its level. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So Lacerda's turn, what is he going to do? He is going to do a number one action, which, yes, is construct a building. He doesn't care about building some plants because the, we don't need that. In, the LSS doesn't need it, so he skips to the next column. Actually, his bot doesn't move. He just skips it and builds the next one instead. So he's building this. He'll build it to, to make a... a a colony because he, he can, he can make a complex because he's got the tech tile that allows him to do that. So place the building, pay the cost, place the building there. Tile has arrows, place crystals on it. Spaces, no. Gain resources, no. Progress cube, yep, he's made a complex so he can put that out. And he moves that up, he gets two points plus a point for every colonist in his living quarters. For Lacerda, you always treat his living quarters as full so he gets four points, as if his available space was absolutely full. So he gets six points for that, which is a big boost. He's on 12 now. Okay. And then the shuttle's going back. Am I going back with it? I haven't got many people left. I would like to move my rover and do some research, but I can kind of wait on that. It's not essential to do that just yet. All of these buildings now would get you benefits again, though. Maybe I want to go back and get the tech tile and get some blueprints or something. Oh, wait a minute, though. We can hold off on all of that because... Da -da -da -da, colony level is increasing, everybody. The needs have been met for it to, uh, for it to all slide up now. This happens at the end of Lacerda's turn because he made this happen. So first off, just for Lacerda, when the colony levels up, he puts one of his shelters out, and he gets a bot. It never goes out, though. It just goes on his player board for scoring that involves bots. So when the colony levels up, when everything is at its the row of the marker or higher, we go to the available blueprints. We clear off anything that is remaining from here. So those two are out of the game. And we fill it up. It actually shows us here. We fill it up with... 
the rest of the six level ones, these can go on any building. These upgrade any building. And the first six level threes, these can only be placed on buildings that are part of a complex that's three or more. We would then refill tech tiles in a game with more players, not in a two-player game, though. We refill the warehouse. The first row here isn't filled in in a two-player game. And then for the first two times that the colony levels up, you get points according to your progress. So I've only done two, so I get two points. Lacerda's done three, so he gets four points. So at the moment, 16 to 7. And if the colony marker was higher up, we would move the remaining missions marker, but uh, it's not. So we can carry on with this. So let's just check the markers now. Nobody's gained one of those yet. We've gained two scientists, so that should be on two. Yes, I think we're all sorted. So for, for moving on now, the shuttle is going to go on space two. We know Lacerda's going away and will be there for some time. I have two crystals. I do have batteries to build a blue building. And that would get me water. If I can move my bot with an executive action, I can move my bot two spaces. One, two. Oh, Lacerda's gotten in the way. I could move it to and then put the complex here and lose this crystal. It would be nice to just build the great big complex there. I'm just thinking of what I can get done while he's away. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Lacerda is going to go over to the other side, and for his benefit, he will take... Not number five, number one. So no benefit. And yes, I'm staying put. Which, yeah, means that... If I want to do construction, though, I have to spend crystals to do that. Oh, am I staying put, then? Oh, yeah, the shuttle needs to go on number two. It's just that if we're going there, we're going to be there for two turns, unless I spend my ship. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay here. I think I can make it work. Okay, what's Lacerda doing? He's going first. He's doing a number three. He's not traveling, but he's not going to have the option to. So number three is upgrading tech. Oh, he hasn't done this yet. So he just upgrades two things. So first of all, he does his most developed tech, and he goes for the first benefit, so he gets himself a mineral, but he doesn't care about resources, does he? No, he doesn't get a mineral. Uh, and then he does the bottom most one of the least developed, and that goes there, and there's no benefit for, for doing that. Okay, so over to me, and I said I had a plan, didn't I? What if I do movement? That doesn't need any crystals and things getting more bots would be helpful wouldn't it that'd be doing another shuttle yeah let's try this out so i can't end up in spaces where there are people so the bot can go on there that's just two spaces and then my rover can go three spaces i'm only going to move it two though because i want it to end here and get me it gets me the crystal and then it gets me this research tile. So first of all, getting a research tile gets me two more crystals. And I've contributed to the mission, so I've ticked it down one. Then, the benefit of this research tile, you can only have one of each letter, you have to get different ones, is two free upgrades for your tech. So, it's too late to upgrade the rover now. I would like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's upgrade this twice. And then I can do... I can get a blueprint. I could spend a person if I wanted to. And get multiple blueprints. No, I just want the one for now. I want a blueprint. I want the private ship here. Which is going to go on a blue building. We know the bot's going to be next to a blue building. Because I'm going to be constructing one. And... We also know, what else do we know? I want, I get points for upgraded blue buildings, so yes. I'm going to grab that. So, get a building on that. Ooh, ooh. So that gets me a water now. I think I will spend a worker and take another one. Because I need minerals to make this happen. And how about an executive action that would get me a mineral. I don't have the scientist that would make it really cheap. But 
I've already got an executive action that lets me upgrade buildings. That costs two instead of three. An executive action that would get me contracts. An executive action that would get me points. Contracts. Let's go contracts. Yeah. So I do apologize if these are going off the <laughs> if these are going off the board. And you can't see them on the static camera. Okay, so that was all from getting the research and moving around. I've moved my bot, I've moved my rover. We move the shuttle down. I can move, because I've got my ship, but no, I'm happy here. Uh, Lacerda hasn't got the option. So we just go to his next turn then. He is going to do a number one. He's going to get a blueprint. So the blueprint that scores his scientists is white. So he'll take the first... Oh, there are no white ones. So that means... Leftmost row with the most cards in it. If they're tied, he goes for the bottom one. So he just takes this card. He's got a lot of negative points stacked up if he doesn't start uh, constructing these things. Okay, for me, I'm actually losing a crystal. Maybe I should have done an executive action last turn. So that I could have kept hold of these. I didn't, though. Uh, yeah, I could have got an extra movement on my bot. Would that have helped? I don't think that would be a bad thing, you know, for it to be there. Yeah, say I spent an extra crystal so that I'm not wasting one, because I haven't got space to store it. Okay. So, Lucida's had his turn. My turn... I haven't got any people available now, so I would like to get another shuttle. I would like the action of... Um, being able to do tech, maybe? Yeah, let's say being able to do uh, tech. It is four things. So it costs me a water and a plant to do that. Now, do I want two colonists, or do I want to get another bot out there so I can build more easily? I think for now, I, st I still want two people. Yeah. Two people in my living quarters. And that's it, isn't it? Move a ship to your hangar, get two of those. So I can, we're level two, so yeah, that's the only reason I was able to do that, because we've now leveled up. Okay. Executive actions. I could executive action a building upgrade. But then I wouldn't have the crystals to be able to executive action this. Are the bots one further away now? So I can't do that. No, I, I don't want the bot moving. We just wasted that crystal. Because what I can do now... Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, upgrade a building. Three crystals to do it. And I'm going to upgrade this building here. Kick Marty's colonist off. And... Yeah, that's all that happens, isn't it? Upgrading a building, must be in the zone of a bot. Choose blueprints and matching building, yes. Pay a mineral, ah, mineral. No, I can't do that just yet, can I? I need mineral. Oh, and how am I going to get minerals? Oh, I should have a mineral from that. Yeah, that's why I took that. So that's my mineral being paid. Yes. So those three crystals are paid. Let's take, let's take the hidden crystal away so I don't forget that's there. And upgrading that, pay a mineral, move the advanced marker, displace anything that's on there. Yep. Brilliant. Okay, so that's available to me now. If I can get another crystal, I can grab a contract. Which is really good, because you need to have completed one contract to have considered uh, won the, the solo game. And you want more than that if you want to do really well, get the higher levels. Okay. So it hasn't moved his rover for ages, has he? So the shuttle is coming back over. Lacerda's coming with it. So Discovery Tile's going out. One, two, three. Puts it the furthest away from my rover possible. And new Discovery Tile comes out. It's going to be... Get some minerals. And then we need to see where Lacerda's going. He's going in number three. Gets himself a blueprint from... Where does he go? The row with the most. Yes, the row with the most, leftmost thing. So he goes there. Negative five points, Lacerda. What are you doing? This is madness. Don't go back with the shuttle. Stay here and upgrade things. Okay, so when he comes back, he builds, doesn't he? 
So he's there, and this does need building. Yeah, so... Can that be built? Yes, there's a, he's got plus two tech, so he's allowed to do that. So he'll place it here, I think, so I get the least benefit from crystals and stuff. He does, uh, he does gather crystals, by the way. But he's limited by his space, and he hasn't got any shuttles. So that goes there. He's already got the cube for this, because he, he skipped, didn't he, before he moved. He's already got the cube for it. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to get loads of points from this, though. He does that. Uh, tile has arrows. Done that. Gain resources. He doesn't do that. Place progress cube. He's already done that. Adjust this. He doesn't get the two points anymore, but now he's got six spaces for colonists, so he gets six points. So that's uh, 22 he's going to be on. Okay. And his marker goes over to mines now, so that's what he'd build next. Okay, so it's me first. What am I doing? Oh, what was the plan? It was construct, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm going to construct, which means I need to pay a worker or a crystal to be able to go there, because we've got the red, so it costs me a person to go up there. There was already a person there, so I need to either sacrifice my last person. No, I don't want to use the last person. I'm going to use the crystal. Oh, no, no, no. I want minerals, and I'm not going to be able to get minerals. I'm just thinking, I can't go back until next turn. The shuttle isn't going to be moving. I can't, I can't jump myself over there. It should be really good if there was a way of me getting a mineral so that I can upgrade the blue building before I went back. That would be perfect. But I'm just not seeing a way that I can get myself a mineral. Unless I can do some tech... My rover, the closest one, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six spaces away is the closest. And he moves three. I wouldn't be able to spend enough crystals to make him move all the way. I could do the action twice, but then that's two turns spent doing it. And it's just, is it more beneficial to just go back there and get some more blueprints or get some tech or something or just get some resources? And have a breather from being down here. For now, though, we're, we're oh yeah, we're deciding: are we spending the crystal or are we spending the person? And if we go back, we get both of the people. It's just oh, the shuttle should be on two, shouldn't it? It's only just come back here. I would get minerals from going back there. I can spend the person. I think I'll spend the person. Right, finally, <laughs> that decision's made. We are spending a battery. We want to build some water purification. That's going here. I oh, I can't make a group still though, can I? Because no one's got that tech. Oh, is all is this all just a terrible idea? Okay, we can we can just build it. Yeah, let's stick to it. We can just build it separately again. It does mean I'm not getting a progress cube out there. Yeah, we've spent the battery. So put this out there then, and even more crystals are going out. That area is really attractive for all of those discovery tiles. But Mar over here is so attractive for getting a load of crystals. So choose a building, pay the cost, place the building, yep. Uh, have arrows, yep. Gain resources, equal to the new size, it's just one water. Adjust the LSS. We do need this. So I get myself just two points for every upgraded building. That's four points, not too bad. Couldn't see what number I was on. I'm on 11 points now. Uh, if you constructed a mine, no, I didn't. So I've done something for the LSS, which means when Lacerda constructs, he's just... I haven't got any executive actions I could do other than I could build this. Can I afford that? It costs minerals, doesn't it? I haven't got any minerals to build one of those. It would be nice to... That wouldn't make a difference, would it? You need to build a green thing to affect the LSS. So that's going to happen pretty quickly. I should actually have another crystal from when I got a blueprint. I should get crystals for blueprints. And this should be on number four, forgetting that the entire game. Well, not the entire game. I keep catching up, but yeah. When did I do that? I did that last turn, didn't I? When I did the rover. So I should have three crystals. Does this change things? No, because I didn't unlock the get a, get a mineral thing. 
if I had four crystals, I could upgrade my tech tiles. And that would get me a mineral. Anyway, let's just let the third have a turn, and I'll have a think. He's going to do number two, which is upgrade a building at last. So basically, if, if this tech was in play, this would let you upgrade more buildings with one action. Nobody's had it yet, though, so nobody can use that. He will... His preference is to upgrade things that he gets points for, so he would use his white upgrade first. Okay, the shuttle counts down. And I could flip over right now. What am I going to do next turn? I was going to do my rover. I could bounce over right now if I wanted to. But then it means I'm on that side longer than I want to be. Yeah, we'll wait here and we'll do the rover. Okay. So we will... We'll move the rover. We could, we could use crystals to move further. Ooh. Wait a minute. Does this all work out? What if... Now, this might be massively wasteful. It's not a good start, is it? To <laughs> a speech about something I'm about to do. I could move... Five, six, seven. If I went, If I went this way, I could get a load of crystals, but I wouldn't quite reach where I need to go. Because it's seven down here. Over here, I wouldn't gain any crystals, but I can gain things that I want. And I might not even need to go back to orbit again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get three movement anyway. Two from the bot, one from the tactile, three from crystals. I'm spending all of my crystals on this. But I get myself the second research tile, which lets me do two upgrades again. So allowing my rover to move further might be a good idea. First one is definitely going to be there and get myself a mineral. That's tempting because it's four more points, even though I don't really care about the upgrade itself. Moving my bot is not really that interesting. I think I'm going to get more rover movement. Yeah. Am I... I was worried at first because I thought Lacerda was going to keep doing that. I'm tempted to just go for the really expensive thing. Yeah. Although for... Right, I can do one executive action. The upgrading, though, needed people, didn't it? So I could now... I have a mineral. Yeah. I have a mineral. And so what? I was going to do this? I think I've got overexcited by something that doesn't really matter. I could build this. I think I'm going to wait to build this so I can get the LSS benefits later on. I'm just going to have done that. And now I'm over here ready to grab these when I move again. Which makes me think, do I upgrade this? Yeah, I'm upgrading that one. I've decided. That's final. Okay. Yeah, and we'll just go back. Lacerda, what are you doing? Uh, number one, you're building something. You're building a mine. Can you build a mine? You can't build a mine. So you move your rover. Okay. You move your rover four spaces, and you give me an oxygen because you're using my tactile. He moves to the thing closest to him. He moves to the thing closest to him, so that would be this research tile. And so we resolve the tile. We know when he upgrades things, he does his most expensive thing and his cheapest thing. So he didn't get any extra benefits from those just yet. But that's... Uh, oh, I, I could have got an extra person by using his tech tile. That would have cost me oxygen, though. I'm not helping him out. And he got another one of these, so that moves that down to two. That was his action. The shuttle's moving back. I'm going to move back. What would I like? Something from the warehouse. A new tech tile. Paying the resources. Okay, first up, though. First up, all of your stuff activates. Everything you've got a person on and an advanced building. So I'm going to get myself two minerals and a battery from this. I can actually... I might have thrown away resources I needn't have in the past because I can have three of everything because I've got a shelter out. Uh, then, 
all of my workers from the working area go back and the worker that is over in orbit that's been there since the first turn of the game, I think. And yeah, they all come back to me. Oh, he gets he gets two crystals, but he's not going to be able to store them. He's not spending crystals for anything. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for tactile so I don't have to take that action. And I'm right here for doing more water. But it's green that we want to be able to. Oh, it's green that we want to be able to do the the thing, but my bot's nowhere near there. We've got this, we've got this, we can do this. It's going to eat up all of my resources, though. Yeah, I'm going to get the green one. Yeah, definitely, this is going to work okay. So, I could get myself a crystal. So, it's going to cost me. It comes from the top row, so... A oh, battery, and then one of anything. I'm going to go for... Green, yeah. Then... Oh, I... Mar the the Lacerda used, used this, didn't he? So I will... Will I have taken it as oxygen, or would I have leveled it up? I would have leveled it up, and then I could have moved my bot. Ooh, this is okay, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we didn't get that oxygen. I've paid for that. So this comes into my new area. Do I want a crystal? Always tempting. Or do I want something from the warehouse? Oh, I think warehouse. And let's get some more water. Or... Some oxygen. If we're, if we're going to be doing upgrades like I'm thinking, we're going to want oxygen. Okay. Yes. So that was just me picking where I'm going. Uh, Lacerda comes uh, with us because he hasn't got an X on there. Lacerda comes with us and he's going in space one. Selfish. So, what action would you like to do, Lacerda? He would like to do one, two, three, upgrade tech. So he doesn't pay, does he? He does. Well, he should actually, when, when we did the colony leveling up, he actually gets a shuttle, not just, um, not just a bot. So he would have space for another crystal. So he upgrades his best thing. So he's going to get to do an upgrade. And the upgrade doesn't matter, does it, for any of these things. So let's just... Let's see, one, two, <laughs> one, two, three, four. And it's going to be three. So he upgrades this one. It's an oxygen one. He upgrades that. And I could use that if I had a scientist. And the scientists are available. And he also is going to be able to move his bot. He chooses the bottom one if you can upgrade one. Uh, then he's going to be able to move his bot. When he moves his bot, it moves along here. There we go. So he's ready. And he was going to do this anyway, actually. He's ready to build that one. And then it would be oxygen again next. Okay. So that was him upgrading tech. He puts a person out, doesn't he? He puts a person out because he's going to make that more expensive. I'm going to do some upgrading as well. So, yes, one has to go here and one has to go in the working area because there's already a color there. What am I going to upgrade? So I don't have, I do have crystals. I could do crystal things. Let's... What if we just did this one twice and got to upgrade a building? Downside of that is, I'm nowhere near... I've moved my bot away from blue now. We could upgrade this one so we can move the thing further. And then we'd get to move the bot, but... If we unlock that, if we move that, we could get another mineral. Yeah. We could, we, yeah, we could spend the mineral as a wild card to be able to afford that, and then we would gain a mineral back. Yeah, that seems okay. I could do more tech. If I sp yeah, I'll, I'll spend another worker, because it's blue on the bottom. 
and I'll spend this oxygen to do another tech. So I can do my rover loads. I'm going straight back. By the way, I'm going straight back uh, with my shuttle at the end of this turn. Uh, so the, the shuttle moves one forward. I am going to spend this to go right back over. And so Discovery Tile has to be three away from mine. That gets me more mineral. Getting me more crystals would be more interesting. So let's actually put it far away from Lacerda's. Yeah, let's put it there. I don't think I'm going to get that. So, what benefit would I like? Something from the warehouse, move my bot, get a blueprint. I think move the bot. I think this is a better place for it. So I can still expand blue. Oh, I can't expand white if I'm there, though. I'm thinking of expanding the mine. I can expand the mine from here. Let's get a blueprint. Blueprint. Let's get... Let's see, we've got one. That's a lot of points for the mines. Another blue one would be nice, but there isn't one out. I'm full on min I'm full on minerals though if I did that. Oh, having an executive action though. That would let me put more of these down. And I could upgrade my shuttle and get crystals when I move around. Yeah, I like the idea of that. I'm gonna take a blueprint. So I get myself a crystal when I take that. I also need to move my workers from here back, and everyone that's here comes back as well. So, luckily I've got space for them. Just had a little panic there, and I need a building on there to show that hasn't been done yet. And... I've actually completed this, and not noticed. I could have been using these benefits all this time. Let's hand it in now, because I've got an upgrade here and here in places that are three-sized. So these can be just used as crystals. You don't trade them in for crystals. You can spend them as crystals. I can wait, though. I don't have to do that one. LSS is about to go up, because if you give you different benefits, the top one is always two tech tiles at no cost. But then this one is two upgrades at no cost. This one is move your rover five spaces and you can boost that with crystals. This is get three minerals. Two upgrades with no cost. Think of the minerals we're saving. The bot's in the wrong place though. I think we'll wait and do the LSS one. That's what I want because I want the rover movement. And we can do that very soon. So Lacerda's doing his movement on here. Something's gonna, this is the last card of his deck so something's going to change in a bit. He's going to grab a tech tile, takes the leftmost one, goes on here, gets something from the warehouse. It's going to be a crystal that he's not going to be able to store. And that's that, isn't it? Over to me. I'm going to build. Because I seriously need to. So we're going to build a green thing. It costs me a blue thing. <laughs> So I'm putting it out here so I'm not blocking myself off too much. That gets rid of that crystal, but crystals are then placed in these two spaces. Flip that over there. Choose a building, pay the cost, place the building. Tiles arrows, yes. Gain resources equal to the new size. I can do that size because I've got the tech tile now. So I get myself two plants. And then place progress cube. Yes, I have made a thing for green. It moves up. I get myself points equal to my best tech tile. It's five points. So that's quite a catch up, I think. He's on 22 still. I'm on 18 now. And if you constructed a mine, no, I didn't. So at the end of my turn, that's going to happen. Am I doing something else? It might, again, be better to wait for this free executive action because... Yeah, because the reason... <laughs> because I I will get a benefit for the LSS. So yeah, let's not do that just yet. My benefit, let's see, minerals no good, crystal would be okay. Getting a person back is a, oh, actually, I need a, I need a person out, don't I? Before we're thinking about getting people back, I, I could get him back and then not have the cost when I build something. If I'm building something straight away next, no, we can wait on that. We can move the bot. I want the bot somewhere... I want the bot in loads of different places. Yeah, let's move the bot. 
there. I want to be able to do the upgrade. Oh, this isn't great. I'm moving down here. Yeah, I can still I can still do all of the things from there. Yeah, I'm getting bot movement. Okay. Then I'm not doing any executive actions because I can't afford that one. So I need to have done a contract. Because now this is going to move up. We get rid of the lowest, the, the level one blueprints that are left over and then just fill up with the remaining level three blueprints. This needs stocking up again. The mission cube now moves down one because we're at level three. We get our progress points again. It's even, we get four points each. So he's still four points ahead of me there. And what does he get? He gets a new... A new thing goes down for him, and he gets a bot, and he gets a ship. Okay, shuttle comes back. Lacerda's not coming back with it. So that's, that's not a good sign for him, because now it's on three. It's not, uh, it's not swapping for a while now. We shuffle his deck, and from now on, every card that he draws... Well, not every card, but most of the cards that he draws are going to advance these missions and start hurrying up the end of the game. So, just give them a horrible, mushy, one-handed shuffle. And let's see what he's going to do. So now, he's going to do... First of all, the A marker goes down one to three. So when three missions are complete, and getting the colony to level three is counted... Uh, as soon as three missions are complete, the game is over. He's going to do an action number two, which means he's going to get this tech tile. Goes out there, and he gets himself a crystal. He's already... Oh, he's not full up on crystals now. He can, uh, he can gain a crystal. I'm going to gain... I can gain a contract with a... With two crystals, if I can get two crystals. No, because I, I need a crystal to get the contract. We're going we're gonna to put him there. We're going to get a contract. We're going to get the one we placed out. Years and years ago, uh, by paying a crystal. Because I can do this very, very soon if I build something. Then, with my free executive action, I'm going to build a battery place. Costs me a mineral to do it. It's going out in this side, so it can keep going with the thing. I've got the tech that allows me to do that. And, yeah, unfortunately, I've got this battery. It's going to fill me up on batteries, get me two more. Or do I want to wait to do this when I can... I could wait to do this until I've got more... another mine out if I build a mine next turn. Yeah, let's wait. So I get a mineral back. Yeah, we'll wait to do that. Okay. The shuttle counts down. I can choose to go back if I want. I'm not going to. Lacerda counts down number... Well, letter C. And he's going to do action number one. Get a blueprint. He gets a blueprint of the type that he wants if he can. So, yeah. He will grab this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got the white scientist. I, I could be doing this as an action. Uh, make all of your stuff produce. Ooh. I haven't even been thinking about it. There's so much to think about. Uh, okay, so he gets that. He needs to put a person out. Over to me, I will build, so I need to put a person out up there. And that means I need to spend a person into the working area. Because there's already a person there. To build a mine, I need a person. I think this should work out nicely, though. So I'm losing all of these crystal opportunities. That can go there. I get myself... Oh, I'm full up on minerals, though. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just... I'm wasting minerals, unfortunately. Which maybe you'd want to do the upgrades first. But the upgrades have to... Oh, so much to think about. We'll just lose the minerals. 
Yeah, we don't get the minerals. I can do it because of the size of the tech that I've got. Gain resources, place progress cube. Already thought about all of that stuff. And then, yeah, go up on here. No, not yet. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, we d he doesn't care about mines. Then we'll do the executive action. So I've completed that contract now. Yeah, we'll do the executive action. We pay a mineral. Should we have done that first, then? Yeah, if we did this first, then we could gain one mineral from building the mine, so we'll do that. We'll do the, you can do the executive action before or after your turn. So that goes out there, doesn't place anything new out. I get myself a load of batteries. The LSS. How many advanced buildings or colonists do I have on mines? I've got three, so I get six points from that. There we go. 28. I'm finally ahead. Then... Okay, we've done all of that. Done that, 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 that. That's up there. I've got my progress cube out for that. So I can hand in any of these. For upgrading, I'm nowhere near my shelter, so I'd only get one upgrade instead of both. I can upgrade with actions here. I don't need minerals. Let's, let's do this one. I could always take the upgrades as just tech tiles. But now let's move the rover. Because we can just move it. One, two, three, four. Five plus four. Six, seven, eight, nine. There, so I get myself three crystals. Another two for doing a mission here. I get this. That counts down and is completed. The next time a mission's completed, it's over. I think Lacerda got a blueprint and should have slid down there a little bit more. I didn't get a scientist. We've only got two scientists this game. Uh, so yeah, the next mission that gets completed, it's over. I can upgrade two of these. I'm thinking for points, I'll do that one. And I will do this one for single upgrade. And the only upgrade I'm next to is this one. So let me uh, do some shuttling. So we place that. I still have to pay. So pay a mineral. And that's that. And so they are for use as crystals if I want them. I've done an executive action this turn, though. Whew. Shuttle counts down. Lacerda, what's he doing? He isn't doing a, a cube this turn. Uh, so three. That means he's upgrading some tech. So he's going out there. He upgrades the best one and the worst one. Uh, the bottom one if he has a choice. Then me. Oh, oh, I didn't get my LSS benefit. I think that's going to be... Bring that off, and then on my turn, I'm going to take that as the action. Oh, I needed to fill back up with a contract. Because if I can do both types of contracts, I would get a better rank for my final scoring. And I could do this one right now. I had those resources when I did my action last turn and got the contract. So yeah, we'll take this. We've got loads of crystals. I don't have to worry about that at all. Full up five crystals. So we'll take that as my contract. And I can move them on there any time. So I, I kind of want to keep that in mind. I need to focus on building shelters now, though. And how am I going to get the resources to do that? Here. Okay. Answered my own question. Yeah, I'll, I'll use... I'll use these two crystals to get myself an oxygen. I need to build shelters as quickly as possible. Okay, shuttle moves over. I'm not moving with it. Am I moving with it though? Because I haven't got any... I haven't got any people. Yes, let's, let's put these resources on here and move back with the shuttle. Because I'm now going to generate three minerals And two batteries and a water. Uh, 
Okay. And then I get my people back from the working play. Oh, I could I could have stayed though, couldn't I? No, I didn't have the resources. I, I'm going to jump straight back next turn. So, yeah. I, got, I get my people back from the working place and everyone that's out here on the board for the orbit. I'm going to go on space number four and pay either a water or a plant. I'll pay a plant to get a new colonist. And there we go. All lovely. So Lacerda, he is going to count down B on one, and he's going to take a one action. He's going to get a blueprint. So he tries to get a white blueprint. There we go. <laughs> this sea of unbuilt stuff over here. And that ticks this down, and he gets crystals, but he can't store any more crystals. He's full. Okay, me. I could keep the shuttle and just spend the action to go back. Or do I spend some resources upgrading this stuff? I could actually move my rover to upgrade all of that stuff. I'm just going to get a blueprint. So one has to go down here because Lacerda's already there. That'll end the game, though. If I get a blueprint, it'll end the game. Because that mission will be complete and that will tick down. Upgrading tech wouldn't. I can get some points from that. Move my bot around and that. Move my bot around would be a good idea. Yeah, let's... Two have to go in here, because Lacerda's got two people here. And I go there to upgrade two things. So if I want the bot upgrade, I've got to do this twice, haven't I? Anything and then an oxygen. Let's do those. And I can move my bot twice. I want to go... I can spend crystals, can't I, to increase it? Yeah. I want to go there, then. So I can build two new shelters. Spend a crystal. Okay. And... Yeah, that's that. The shuttle counts down from three, constantly putting it on the one space. I'm spending my shuttle to go back. Again, I don't want to take a blueprint and trigger the end of the game. So let's... Let's get a resource. You want some oxygen? Lacerda's turn. He's probably going to trigger the end of the game, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to trigger the end of the game. So I don't think I'm getting what I want here. He just takes something, counts B down. So that's off there. So we get this round and one more round. So me, me coming over here for a start, I... I can put that out if I want it. I can put that out, and then I get my people, don't I? So they, they come back, and so do these. Okay. So all I need to do is build two shelters. It would be nice to get one upgraded as well, but I don't know that that's going to happen. So building, building the next shelter along, and it's going to just go here. I can do that because of my crazy tech for this. And so I get myself three crystals. So knowing that they're coming in, have I spent the oxygen? I don't think I have. Spend the oxygen. Then, as an executive action, we do three to do an upgrade. We upgrade it by spending a mineral. Upgrade any of them, I don't mind. And then, yeah, those three are going to slide up. I'll just fast forward on that. Because then that, yep, yeah, the shuttle counts down. Lacerda goes. This is the last turn of the game now. So Lacerda is, counting down B, that doesn't matter. He is going to do, get a new tech tile. He can't do that, so he's going to do Rover. So he goes to the closest thing. He's going to get two blueprints. Okay. I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to stack them up here. He's got such a ridiculous amount of blueprints at the moment. <laughs> and my turn. So I am going to 
I think I am going to get a new shuttle. Is this a good idea? I use that and a wild card mineral. And I'm going to get two new people. To put out here. I think I've got space for them. Then... I'm going to spend two crystals to do my executive action here of build some housing, which I can do with my wildcard mineral, my last wildcard mineral. It can go here next to my bot. That discovery tile's lost. And I think that's it. Okay then, so scoring is going to be weird. <laughs> We've got progress scoring again. Uh, it's just three each still. So that will be four points each. Then, oh wow, time is running out on the card. I filled up the card, everybody. We're going to have to switch SD cards. Bear with me. There we go. Camera batteries and SD cards have been <laughs> drained and filled doing this one video. Okay, where are we? Shuttles, points for having them left over. lacerda has got two. I've got one. So that's six points for him, three points for me. He's back in the lead again. Then we have, oh, your colonists, you bring people back to your colony. So you bring back all colonists from the side of the board that you are on. So for me, it's just, it would be one either way. And then, oh, I've, I've brought the wrong thing off for Lacerda. And then you look at the highest points you've got. I've got 10 points. Lacerda counts as just having all colonists filled up. So he's got 10 as well. Okay, next up we have tech tiles. Now I've done pretty well on these, I think. I've got 9, 14, 18, 21, 24. What's that, 69? Lacerda has got 9, 12, 14, 16, 17. 63. Then blueprints. Okay, this is going to be great for me. It's not going to be good for Lacerda. Okay, this is why you might have wanted to have put... He's got two upgrades out, so we can... Yeah, they're the two he upgraded. Let's do mine first. Positive points. So blueprints, let's do mine, because mine are just positive. 5, 8, 11, 14 points for mine. So where am I? So 14, 83, that's going to put me on. Lacerda, he did two level ones, so that's six points positive. Let's, let's give him those. So he's on 69. And then he loses, by not building these, 10, 15, 25, 30, 33, 36 points. Yeah. So 35. That puts him on. Bear in mind, you don't just have to beat his score to win this. So yeah, don't worry about that. Then we have scientists. I just have the R&D engineer who cares about upgrades on water purifiers. So he just gets me three points. And Lacerda cared about upgrades on the batteries. So he gets six. Back on 41. And then finally contracts. Lacerda never took a contract. I get nine and 12, 21 points. That puts me on 107 there. And there we go. So the final score is 107 to 41. Because, yeah, nobody would do this. But, yeah, Lacerda is advancing the end of the game and getting in the way rather than being a full opponent. But besides, as I mentioned, you don't just have to beat his score. You have to meet the solo goals. And I am awkwardly trying to grapple the rule book in one hand. Uh, without really, I, I don't want to just destroy everything that's on the board. So here we go, the solo goals for the game. So first, contact, colonists, we have reach at least colony level three. We did that. We're colony level three. Complete at least one contract. I did two. Uh, complete a private goal card. I did that. Have a level six tech tile. I did that. I've just knocked all of my tech tiles. Have more OP than Lacerda. Done. Next generation, reach at least colony level three. Done that. Complete two contracts at least, one of each type. Done that. Complete a private goal, yes. Have at least two research tiles. Research tiles? Oh yeah, yeah, these. <laughs> up, up here. <laughs> I can't point out them, but you know what research tiles are. You? Those ones. 
Uh, I've got two of those, yes. Have at least four shelters built. Did you notice that I didn't... I just read research tile, this tech tile, when I was flicking through this. Have at least four shelters built. Oh, no. Yeah, I've got four shelters built. I start with one out there. That's what that means, right? I've got four shelters built. They're right, they're right there. I don't know, actually. Does this count? No, I think it counts. I think I'm next generation. Beatless order by 10 OP or more. Yes. Hunky Dory would have been... Uh, reach colony level four. Didn't do that. Did the contracts. Did the private goal. Have colonists or advanced building markers on at least three mines. Did that. That was my private goal. Uh, have at least five advanced buildings. Oh, by the way, your colonists. Yeah, like that's not set in stone. That might, might be knocked off by Lacerda upgrading a mine. Uh, have at least five advanced buildings. Did I do that? One, two, three, four. I did. I did. So close. I think we could do hunky dory with another go. Not right now, though. <laughs> Beatless order by 20 OP or more. Did that. So reach the, the final one, a Martian potato survival scenario, would be reach colony level three. Did that. Do the size four greenhouse contract. Didn't do that. So this is like specific rather than a higher level. Uh, complete the delivery contract with plants and minerals. Take the biochemist. Have at least three greenhouse advanced buildings. Expand a greenhouse complex to at least size five. Have at least five plants in storage. Two research tiles. Have the greenhouse tech at level six. Finish the game in orbit and beat Lacerda by 30 points. So, yeah, that's that's very specific about what it wants you to do. So, yeah, that that is harder, but very, very specific as well. Anyway, we're not doing any of that right now. We just finished... I've been here for more than three hours filming this. Just finished on Mars. Uh, I think it's coming up to four. No, no, it's not coming up to four, is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter how long it took. We got there. We played through on Mars. We probably made mistakes. They were hopefully corrected in the Klingon subtitles. This hopefully gave you some idea of what on Mars is like. And hopefully the frazzled nature of my thinking and maybe even voice will show you how uh, how brain burning this game is. I'm not going to attempt to talk about it anymore now though. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, it's going to be recorded on another day because it would make no sense if I filmed it right now. <laughs> I will I will give my uh, first impressions on on Mars. It'll be linked on the screen in a minute. It'll be linked in the description right now if you're impatient. If you'd like to help support the channel, it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. You get to vote on videos. You get to have a chat. You get to most importantly support the channel and help these things get made. I very much appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everybody.